Hi, and welcome back to Tech TV. I'm Susie Harrison, commercial editor, and I'm delighted to be joined in Austin by Kevin Robinson, president and CEO of Wi-Fi Alliance. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely, it's a pleasure to be here. So, at a high level, how do you view the role of Wi-Fi for home IoT? Well, very clearly, Wi-Fi is going to be absolutely central to home IoT. Wi-Fi is already in hundreds of millions of homes. Uh, we ship, we've shipped, uh, actually I should say in, in actual use today, we have more than 18 billion Wi-Fi devices. So again, Wi-Fi is the primary home connectivity technology today, moving over half of all internet traffic. So that is not going to change, and in fact, Wi-Fi is going to grow in prominence in home IoT and really any home connectivity scenario. And um, as Wi-Fi evolves, there is opportunity for new home IoT innovations. Um, what are some of those innovations that Wi-Fi Alliance and your members are most excited about? Mm -hmm. Such as Wi-Fi sensing, QoS. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, well I think some of the central things that are really happening with Wi-Fi have to deal, will deal with the just massive proliferation of connected devices. You know, I don't know about you, I have more than 40 connected devices in my home and that's, that's not all that abnormal anymore. So the density of deployments, the ability to deliver a consistent experience to a large number of devices, that have myriad requirements. Everything from a low power, you know, lower data rate device to uh, AR, VR headsets that might be in the home. And so things around quality of service that we're able to deliver. Um, things around um, the ability to really have a very comprehensive view of what is happening in the home environment. Uh, something we call Wi-Fi data elements. Like a consistent way to report up telemetry and metrics to service providers. And all of these types of developments will allow whether it's a service provider providing this, this IoT connectivity in the home, or maybe it's a subscription, it's something that's managed more from the cloud uh, through AI, they'll all be able to deliver a, a better experience for the user to where these IoT devices just kind of blend into your everyday environment. You don't want to have to be thinking about a connected device. If it's right. doing its job, it just it's there, right? It's just part of that fabric of your, of your life. Okay. And what are some of the connectivity requirements for home IoT, and how does Wi-Fi help meet these requirements? Mm -hmm. Well, certainly as I mentioned, the ability to support large numbers of devices with very diverse requirements. Um, so that, that's going to be very important. Uh, again, the ability to have latency sensitive, smaller data traffic. Uh, that's something that Wi-Fi 6 does exceptionally well. Um, it, it can, Again, it can, it can morph or flex to really meet the needs of those requirements. Uh, one of the other major things, particularly if you're a, a device vendor looking to get IoT devices out into the home, you need, you need that connectivity available, right? It's, uh, you know that hundreds of millions of homes have Wi-Fi. If you make a product based on Wi-Fi, you don't need to worry about is there a gateway there. It, it's going to be in the home, so that ubiquitous connectivity. Uh, and of course, security is always an essential component in, in the home. Uh, so strong security with things like WPA3 uh, that ensure that, uh, that, that, that Wi-Fi link is fully protected and then continue, continuing to layer additional security protocols on top of that really makes for a very robust private secure connection in the home. And uh, Matter recently launched, and many Matter devices will run on Wi-Fi. Um, what are some of Wi-Fi's unique competencies that made it a strong foundation for Matter devices? Mm -hmm. Well, I often say that uh, you know Wi-Fi puts the internet in the Internet of Things, right? Wi-Fi has always been a networking internet technology. In fact, most people, when they think of the internet, they really think like Wi-Fi and the internet are almost synonymous one another, with one another for most people. Um, and so, Wi-Fi provides this very strong foundation. Um, and is you know, I'm not sure how much of your viewers know, but Matter is really focused on the IP layer and above. So if you think of like kind of the network stack, right? Matter is the IP and above. It's a lot of the application interoperability. Whereas then Wi-Fi, particularly Wi-Fi certified, which is one of the main things Wi-Fi Alliance does, that is the, the, the lower layer, the, the networking, a lot of the networking connectivity um, and the over-the-air interface. And so the, the two together are really very, very strong complements to one another. And I think with, with the Connectivity Standards Alliance, they knew that with the wide use of, of Wi-Fi in the home, and the strong foundation that it can provide for what they're building on top in terms of application interoperability. Uh, it was a very strong complement to Thread as an example that's for some other very specific use cases. Um, but I think that that's part of what really made the case for Wi-Fi and they know that it's widely interoperable. Right? You have a, an organization like the Wi-Fi Alliance that ensures that these Wi-Fi devices just simply work well together. Okay. 
And will other IoT protocols be able to leverage Wi-Fi in the future? And if so, what are some of the reasons they choose Wi-Fi over other IoT mm -hmm. technologies? Well, one of, the, one of the main things is affordable performance. There is really no other technology out there that provides you the, the level of capabilities, the, the tools in the toolbox, if you will, for somebody building a new device that Wi-Fi does and is able to deliver that in an incredibly affordable way. Um, so I think that that's one of the things that people are certainly looking at. Um, in terms of being able to build on top of Wi-Fi, Again, Wi-Fi is very horizontal, right? We don't, we've tended not to focus on a single vertical, uh, like industrial or enterprise or the home. And that's why you see Wi-Fi in almost every segment that's out there today. Um, and so that, um, you know, for that reason, you're going to see many ecosystems, and in fact, many ecosystems today already build on Wi-Fi. Again, you have Matter. Um, you have uh, previously ecosystems like you know HomeKit from Apple. Um, you have things like uh, platforms from companies like Tuya, which is a, a Chinese-based company that um, kind of white labels a lot of this this cloud platform. And it's just very simple to build on Wi-Fi. It's simply the internet. It's networking. The 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 capabilities and the um, I would say the the competencies of developers. It, it's second nature for them to build on Wi-Fi. And I think that's why many of them choose Wi-Fi as either their, their primary foundational connectivity technology or as a complement to a more specialized technology. Great, thank you. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Kevin from Wi-Fi Alliance. And thank you to everyone joining us on Tech TV. Absolutely, it was a pleasure to be here.